Welcome back, Future Medicos. In our continuing series related to the fee structure of deemed universities, I'm going to cover one more deemed university from Karnataka today. Come, let's get into the video and understand all the details related to this particular deemed university. So we are going to look at Enipoya Medical College, which is located at Mangalore in Karnataka, which is affiliated to Enipoya deemed to be university. In this medical college, we are going to look at the seat matrix, who can apply for the seats in this particular medical college, where to apply, what is the fee structure, and finally, what is the cutoff ranks and marks for the last three years we are going to look at. To start with the seat matrix, this particular medical college offers 250 MBBS seats, and these 250 MBBS seats are divided into four major categories. Karnataka state government quota, we have 37 seats. Deemed or paid seats quota or general category seats, we have 110 seats. Muslim minority, 65 seats. And NRA quota, 38 seats. Of course, this seat breakdown is based on what the college offered last year. Because in the last three years, 2022, 23 and 24, this college had different kinds of seat distribution between Muslim minority and deemed quota. So I'm just showing you what was done in 2024 and let's hope that the same distribution will be followed in 2025. Of course, you need to wait for the seat matrix in round one by MCC and then check what exactly is the seat distribution. But currently based on 2024, this is the seat distribution. Now, if you are interested in the Karnataka state government quota of 37 seats, for this only Karnataka residents are eligible. Other state students are not eligible. Only Karnataka natives or Karnataka residents who fulfill the residence requirement for Karnataka, they only are eligible. And to get a seat under these 37 seats government quota, the Karnataka students should register under KEA or Karnataka Examinations Authority. Other state students who register under KEA will not be eligible for this Karnataka state government quota seats. Now, looking at the deemed or paid seats quota, there is no restriction. Anyone who has clear NEET exam, they are eligible. Anywhere from India, no problem. Muslim minority, of course, candidate can be anywhere, but he should or she should belong to Muslim religion. NRA quota, typically NRA students, NRA sponsored, OCI, PIO or foreigner, they are eligible for the NRA quota. Now, if you are interested in any of these categories, that is deemed quota, Muslim minority or NRA quota, you must register with MCC or Medical Counseling Committee. Even if you are a Karnataka student and if you are interested in the Muslim minority seats in any POYA, you should register with Medical Counseling Committee. Now, what is the fee structure? The fee structure for deemed or paid quota and Muslim minority quota is shown here. The fees is 23 lakhs per year. And the final year, they charge 13 lakhs. So total fees will be 1 crore 5 lakhs. And the good thing is accommodation is included in these fees. There is no additional hostel and mess you need to pay. When you pay this 1 crore 5 lakhs, it also includes your accommodation and food. In case if there are AC provision, AC charges will be extra and it will be charged separately. And please take note that hostel is mandatory for all students in this college. Now, what is the fee structure for NRA quota? NRA quota, the first year you need to pay 64,000 US dollars. And from the second year to the final year, you need to pay 32,500 US dollars every year. And the total cost will be 194,000 US dollars. And today's currency conversion rate shows 1 US dollar equal to 86.17 Indian rupees. And if I convert 1,94,000, it comes to roughly 1.67 crores for completing course under NRI quota in this college. And once again, this 194,000 US dollars includes accommodation and food. And of course, AC charges are extra here also. And hostel is mandatory for NRI students also. So if you want to study under NRI quota, you are cost will be roughly around 1.7 crores. Of course, I have not shown what is the fee structure for Karnataka state quota. It is roughly around 2 lakhs, but I cannot find what is the current fee. So I have not shown that, but roughly it will be about 2 lakhs per year for Karnataka students if they get a seat through KEA. Okay. 
If Karnataka students get C through MCC, then they also have to pay 23 lakhs per year. But if they get the C through KEA, then they will be paying only around 2 lakhs per year. Now moving on, the cutoff rank or cutoff marks, I'm showing you currently for deemed or paid seats quota or general category. In 2024, round one, it was around 3 lakh 52,000. Round two, it went up to 2 lakh 61,000. And round three, it closed at 2 lakh 22,000. So the trend is very similar as we have seen in other colleges. Typically, the cutoff increases from round one onwards. So if you look at 2023 and 2022, you also have to take note that in 2023, the number of seats has increased in any poya from 150 to 250. So 2022 may not be a good reflection of the cutoff. So we have to look at 2023. And also you can see that in terms of deemed seats, there is an increase every year. 2022, there were only 58 seats. In 2023, they offered 87 and 2024, they offer 110 seats. So roughly we can see that the cutoff could be somewhere in the range of 3,50,000 or maybe if it goes down, probably it may go until 4 lakh. So probably that's the range you can look at and you can be hopeful of. But of course, I do not know exactly what would be the prediction for this year. Don't ask me what would be the prediction this year. Whether the cutoff will come down or increase, of course, I cannot answer. But roughly you can see that the last two years, 2023-24, it was around that 3 lakh 50 to 4 lakh ranks. Probably you can keep that as a guidance. Needs course. Uh, let's not look into need scores. Moving on for Muslim minority. What was the cutoff last year? It was 4,3,000 in round 1, 3,51,000 in round 2, and round 3, it went up to 1,54,000. And uh, 2022, of course, the seats were less. Only 57 seats were available. In 2023, seats increased to 87. That's why you can see that 2023, the cutoff was quite low. It was around 6.5 lakhs. Whereas again in 2024, they have reduced the seats. From 2023 to 2024, they have taken some seats from Muslim minority and included it into the general category. So roughly you could see that 4 lakhs is once again a safe range for Muslim minority in any POYA. This is the cutoff in terms of need score. Moving on NRA quota, once again it's not that difficult to get a seat under NRA quota. The first round last year was 13,22,000, which is almost like just pass mark. Of course, second round onwards, it has uh, increased. That's something you all have to take note. Uh, in 2023, almost none of the rounds, the seats got filled up. Round one also, there were vacancies. Round two vacancies, round three vacancies. And maybe the seats might have been converted to general category seats in round three. And of course, you could see that 2023, it was the cutoff was around 10, 10 lakhs to 11 lakhs. So I strongly recommend uh, if you are interested in NRI quota, go in the round one, you might easily get a seat. Okay, of course, uh, the need score. Now, this is the Karnataka state quota cutoff for 2024. Of course, I'm not going to read out each and everything here. Uh, the lowest is for 1G, all India ranks 64,832. And uh, uh, the lowest rank, I think, is for SC candidates, SCK cutoff in terms of uh, rank. You can see that it is two and a half lakhs rank for any POYA. So look at your particular rank. If you are from Karnataka, look at your particular category, whether you belong to 2A, 2B, whether you belong to general or whether you belong to rural, right? Look at that and then see, right, which is uh, suitable for your particular category. Now, once again, the disclaimer, I have collected the fee information only from the college website and all the cutoff ranks and marks are collected from MCC website. I have presented in a way which is easier for you to understand. I hope this information is useful to you. Of course, before doing the choice filling, I strongly suggest you to go back and look at the college website because there is a possibility the college might make some changes. So it's always important before doing the choice filling, Take a look at the prospectus once again and confirm that your understanding is correct, right? My best wishes. Thank you. Bye-bye.